Welcome to PixEdit Advanced User Tutorials. Visit PixEdit.com for more information about our suite of software. PixEdit can convert a scanned or digitally born document for further processing in AutoCAD. In this video we show vectorizing. Even though you can make both small and big changes to a document directly in PixEdit, you may sometimes need to bring a scanned document into a CAD program for further editing or as part of a new CAD document. Before importing a scanned document in as vectors to AutoCAD, MicroStation, or other CAD systems, the document must first be converted by PixEdit to a DXF file format. PixEdit offers two different methods to make DXF files. This video is about real vectorizing, but let's quickly mention that it is also possible to use File, Save As, and choose DXF Horizontal. Horizontal DFX files tend to be very large, but since the result is visually very equal to the original document, they are useful as backgrounds in CAD documents. To make smaller and more editable DFX files, you should consider using vectorizing. The vectorizing process in PixEdit analyzes image and calculates vector change described with start and end coordinates. These types of files are therefore much smaller than horizontally coded DXFs. A vectorizing process will always introduce quality loss. To obtain best possible results, the original image should have good quality and thin lines. If the document has been scanned in grayscale or full color, it must first be converted to pure black and white by using Image, Color, Convert to Monochrome. Let's click the Vectorizing icon and show you the Vectorizing dialog box. PixEdit suggests the same file name as the original, but with the DXF or PGL file name extension, depending on configured output file format. Use this slider to configure vectorizing accuracy. Higher accuracy results in more vectors and somewhat larger files. As a part of the vectorizing process, PixEdit first thins down graphics by one pixel layer for each pass before converting the resulting thin pixel change to longer vectors. The default five-pass thinning process is suitable for most documents. Instead of vectorizing the graphic skeleton of an image, it is also possible to vectorize the image contour. This option is useful for processing graphics with bold lines such as logos or filled areas. We click OK to start vectorizing. Here we haven't selected an area using the selection tool, so the entire page will be vectorized. The DFX file is now ready to be imported into CAD systems, and PixEdit now shows the vectorized result as red vectors on top of the original image. In this example, we made the layer control bar visible by pressing F9. Let's temporarily hide the active raster layer by using the layer control bar to see the vectors more clearly. To inspect the imported vectors in more detail, we use the overview window to pan and zoom as shown in an earlier video.